drop a like and do share leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos hello and welcome to edupedia world welcome to sap uif training session in this uh, training session we're going to discuss master detail view for desktop so how we're going to do it so we're going to right click this and we're going to say new and we'll open a file called we'll create a new file called master detail for desktop dot html then we say finish and we get one page and we're going to close others so in this i'm going to write a code so this is a master detail page code so you click on that so you'll get the list of things and you minimize it and then you go to your and you can paste it and save it and we have to change the resources folder here and we save it and we're going to run this on a server we can run it or else it's always we already run the project on the server right so we can just run as web app preview once we do web app preview here it is so once it click on this it will okay this is a desktop preview so once we do with this thing see it is it is first name last name but what about the others first name last name okay once we click on the other the items will display this is what we're going to do this is for the master detail page for the desktop okay we go there we go to our code so this is how the code is so this application is for master detail like we have seen the master detail for mobile now this is for the desktop so how we are getting the data so first what we are trying to do is we are trying to check whether the resources are loaded or not if not we are throwing an error so how we are going to do that is try and catch method so sap ui dot get core dot load library that is sap ui comments and then sap ui dot get core dot load library that is sap ui dot table okay so once we load the library if it is doesn't load the runtime then we can throw an error so this is how we load the library in a runtime this is one way of doing okay we can we will not we are not writing anything here libraries but we are loading it in a runtime in the script that also we can do this is one way of doing it so how we going to do this is if suppose if you don't have resources like this then this message this test page requires the library ui.commons which is not available that's that error we need to get once i save it and then again run it this is not there so we have a 8080 port that is for the tomcat we can make use of that and we'll run this it says see this test page this test page requires the library sap ui.commons which is not available so we'll go there and change the resource and save it and i'm going back and refreshing now same page so this should display 
So what I'm trying to do here is have taken a clients and items. Whenever I click an client ID, the items will be displayed here based on the client number. So if it is one, it's gold, diamonds and jewelry gems. And then say second one, then it has a jolly jumper and pistol. And when I say the client third, it has a big nose and like this. The fourth items are different. We were and Batman and the so fifth one is element and am the law like this. So we'll go there and we'll see what we have done it here. So in this we have a try and a catch method and once we are trying successful then this application will be loaded. So now we are taking a sample data. In the sample data we have clients and then in the clients we have a first name, last name, ID and the items. Inside the items we have name, name, name. So we can repeat these names. So gold, diamond and jewelry. So the first name, last name and ID. So these are the clients. So we can say entity type and inside this entity type we have entity. So entity set, the clients is nothing but entity set and inside this we have a list of data. So once I scroll down, I will be seeing a model here. I am taking a model here and to this model I am setting up a data. So to this model I am setting up data and O model dot set data that is M data. M data is nothing but this type of data and then SAP UI dot get code. So for this get code we are setting up model that is O model and then creating a table that is data table with the clients as a title and a width 100 and visible row is count is 5 and the selection mode is single so that every single selection of the row you want to display the list of items so then you are adding a column like O table add column and you are adding a column header first is client ID and the next one is first name and another one is last name so for this we are declaring a template as we know for the table we will be using a template and inside the template we will be placing the library whatever the control we have now we have used a text field so we want to just put the text field inside this template and we are placing the value id and this label is new sap ui commerce dot label and when the text is coming up it's a first name label text and the template inside the template i'm binding the first name here heidi your first name and then next one is the last name then i'm binding the rows the entity set that is client and the placing it at the master so there is something called master I'm placing and then I'm taking another table called items and a visible row count is 3 and the selection mode is single and editable is false and then we are adding a column here add column so how we are adding a column as a custom header that is a column header so inside the column header we are placing items as a title and then to this items name so names are three so three will be displayed so i'm binding items because we already we have binded client to this table upper table so we're gonna bind items to this so this is going to place a detail so next is so the next one is attach row select so when we see to place master and detail pages but we want to add see now we have taken the ui the master and detail but now what we trying to do is we want click on every master record we want to display the items so how are we going to do it we are getting the selected row context and we are binding it to the set binding context so this two lines what it do is it will 
give the selected row and the what are the selected row you have selected that binding context will be set up so in that the binding context whatever the items are there that will display in this particular table so once we go back and check the model will have a clear understanding so clients so the first clients will be binded to the first master data so master data have a multiple records that are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 master records are there but in our application we can only see 5 but when we scroll down we will see 6 and 7 ok so we will go there so we have 7 records so we are displaying the first name and last name and id in the master record and then we have items inside this so a table can have a binding context so we can directly set that so that's what set binding context and items we are doing we'll go there see set selected row context we're getting it and we are binding it and where we are binding it to the detail because details are nothing but O time tables, O items table and then we got come down we have two separate divs one is master another one is detail that's how the first master comes and then detail this is a pure HTML you can have your own divs and you can place a master here and a detail here go to the master so this is O table so the title what we have given is clients and visible row count is 5 the selection mode is single editable and then adding column so we have column headers as the control so one of the control so add column columns are nothing but aggregations so this column will repeat with the template so label columns and we are setting up and the placing at the master Similarly, we are taking an items table and once we take the items table, so similarly we have done the label and then a text field, this will be binded, the names. Because the names have a multiple times, so the, that's the reason multiple times it will display okay, with the same property name, one by one. Okay. We'll see the code now. So we'll run the application now and we'll see by default the items have no data. So now go to F12. So what I do is I'll go to master detail does dot desktop. I'll click on this. Once I click on this, the page appears. So this is our master detail. So in this have loaded resources and then clients that means nothing but a data and we have setting up the model to the kit code model and in the last whenever we select any row so once we select the row this will be coming up so this is an O event so O event has all the select option then when we select we are getting the select row context so what would be the context slash client zero because it's the first row. So that's the reason. It's client row and then the set binding context. So in this context, when we set the time, the data will be repeated because items. So if you want to check, you can check like this. SAP.UI.getCore get core dot get model okay so get core dot model so you're getting a model so inside this model you have an object it's context 
So depending on the context, that will be binded. See, slash zero, then items like that. Context, but we'll we are concerned about data now. So client has seven records. Inside the seven records, we have the first record and the items. So what are the names? This has three. One is name, diamonds, and jewels. So gold, diamonds, and jewels. So it has the name only. You can have. So this is how it is. So it is always this binding context, zero binding context. We are setting it up. So once it's set up, then this will these items will be repeated. How these items will be repeated is we'll go to the code and check where we have binded it. So here we have set it up the slash zero and client, and when we go to that, yeah, this is mass. This is the table O O items table. So in this O items table, we have taken a bind rows. So bind rows is items. We are not putting any slash or something because it, we already set it up the binding context. When it comes to bind rows, we'd have done it for the master slash clients. So clients is repeating. In items, we have only names which are repeated. So we have seen so far a desktop master detail page. This is our simple desktop master detail page. You can make use of this code and you can develop uh, any master detail page in the desktop. So in the mobile view, we have already seen it. Thank you. Thank you for listening. And in the next session, we'll be continuing with the different concepts. Thank you for watching Etiopedia World. Stay tuned for more videos.